For decades, the Halias football team played its home games at nearby Adkins Stadium. Only recently did the Satyrs move over to a stadium of their own. But perhaps it was fitting, as tonight, Halias played for school history in a place full of memories. The Crusaders up against MICDS. Halias hoping to complete the perfect season by winning the Class 4 state championship. First quarter coming out strong. Carson Bronner. Interception. Look at the turnover belts. Well deserved. Helias ball now. Jacob Weaver, the star of the show. Getting it done with his legs, putting his team in great field position. Later, Jacob Weaver. Six points. Helias on top. But MICDS comes out strong in the second half. Stephen Hall punches it in for the touchdown. The Rams take a 23-21 lead. Helias will not be denied. Not in its home city. Alex Clement brings it into the end zone. Helias leads again, 28 to 23. They can taste the state title. What would be their first in 22 years. Helias looking to get some breathing room on a cold night. But Jacob Weaver is on fire. Another score, celebration ensues as the Crusaders hold on for the victory. Helias wins at 35-30. The Crusaders cap off the perfect season, going 14-0. 22 years later, during a pandemic of all times, Helias is state champs once again. ABC 17's Natalie Jones joins us now live from Atkins Stadium. Natalie, head coach Chris Henches says he wore one special memento for good luck tonight. That's right, Andrew. The stage could not have been set any more perfectly. More than two decades ago, the Goliath Crusaders won a state championship under former head coach Ray Henches. And now his son Chris tonight was looking to do the same thing. But get this, it was Ray's 82nd birthday. I, I kept a sweatshirt because this was the sweatshirt, sweatshirt that we wore um, in the 1998 state championship game. So it's 22 years old. I just kept it in my closet and I saw it today and um, I wear it from time to time. I just thought, hey, I'm just going to wear this thing. Last time I wore it in a football game, we won a state championship up at the Edwards, Dome, uh, Edwards Jones Dome in my dad's last year. And uh, I just put it on just to kind of have that little, uh, that little good luck charm. And, uh, you know, he, he's been a great role model for me. And I'd say that sweatshirt definitely has some luck attached to it looking at these results. As for those Crusaders, I saw their buses tear out of here, loud music playing, cheering all around. Definitely going to be some celebrating tonight in Jefferson City. For now, reporting live at Atkins Stadium, Natalie Jones, ABC 17 Sports. Those buses don't have to go too far, don't they? Well, tomorrow night, Blair Oaks will go for its second state title in three years as the Falcons will take on Maryville at 6 o'clock from also at Ken Stadium, Blair Oaks has already played Maryville this season. In week one, the Falcons took down the Spoofhounds 51 to 8.